Hey, okay, so um, Heidi here, and I just wanted to take a moment to share some really cool stuff that's happening. So go ahead, let's welcome um, one of our PPHQ um, members. Go ahead and say hello and tell us your business name. Hi, everybody. It's Michelle Stone here. I'm with Lightning Bug Designs. And I'm super happy to be here. <laughs> okay, so um, I just want to, if it's okay with you, I just want to share what you were saying right before we went live. Is that okay? Oh, sure. Yeah. She was, she was saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Like she feels like there's so many um, people in Paint Party headquarters that are doing so much better than her. And that's just like the perfect example of like, it's okay wherever you're at and to celebrate what you're doing because Michelle, you're doing some cool stuff. So go ahead and share something that's happened recently um, in your paint party business. Okay. So, well, I'm pretty new to paint party headquarters. I think I joined in maybe August or September mm -hmm. um, and I do work a full-time job. So my time is limited. Um, so right before Halloween, was it Halloween? Yes, I did a craft show and I took 20 art kits. Mm -hmm. I had five designs. No, I had four designs and I took five kits of each one. The show opened at 10 o'clock. I was sold out by 1130. Thank goodness I had lots more inventory or I would have been done for the day. Um, but the art kits and people were just like, oh my gosh, what a great idea. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Oh, and they were ordering, you know, after I sold out, they were still ordering. So it was awesome. So then I had another craft show um, the beginning of December. Mm -hmm. And I thought, okay, well, we're going to take three times as much. So we took 60 art kits. <gasps> yes, they were gone. So the show opened at 10. By 2.30, we were sold out. How much are you selling them for? $12. $12 each. There's no tutorial video. It's the pre-drawn canvas, the paint, the brushes, the cup, the napkins, a picture of my painting. Mm -hmm. I literally laid it on the copy machine reduce the size and I put that in the kit and they loved them because um, you're probably you probably have realistically maybe what three dollars um so I figured at five okay rounding I just went with rounding okay. and just went up to five just to cover anything that I might have left out right yeah that's so awesome. For me, that was a huge win. You know, it started out just, you know, I started out seeing all the sisters in PPHQ and they're like talking about their kids. And I'm like, gosh, that would be fun. So I'm just going to try it. Mm -hmm. So I tried it and wow, like we just couldn't believe the people that were just grabbing. Oh, I'll take that one and I want that one. And I want one of each. And I was just like, oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. <laughs> no, but I mean, I'm, I'm sure like not only did you have a good price point where you're still making over 50%. Yeah. And you're yeah. not having to do like a Zoom, a Facebook. I mean, that's the thing is you can, uh, there's many ways to do this and, and build your business. So, and um, so from doing that, I'm sure, how did it make your confidence feel like, Oh, by doing that and just starting. Listen, my head was so big. I couldn't hardly get it in the car. <laughs> God, don't worry. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about um, like selling something that you put together. Yeah. Yeah. It's like um, Ollie. You see Ollie back here? He's cute. Oh my gosh. The sisters in PPHQ loved Ollie. Oh. Um, yeah, so it's just, and I, I think my message is for all the new people. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, it's got to come from your heart. If it doesn't come from your heart, it's probably not going to go anywhere. <laughs> so, <clears throat> sorry. 
I get to talking about that kind of stuff and I get just a little bit emotional. <laughs> the, my business is founded on the foundation of my faith. So it's, it becomes very personal. Um, and it shows in my work. It shows when I'm talking to people. So my message to you guys is whatever you do, do it with all your heart. First of all, don't give up. Keep practicing. My face, if you look at my Facebook page, it's not impressive. My following is not impressive. I think I have just over 300 followers. My reach is not great. My marketing suffers severely. <laughs> I'm not the tech guru. I'm the people person. I'm the girl that wants to have the bright paintbrush in her hand and just chat. That's, you know. Um, so if you've, if you've got it in your heart, do it. Just do it. Mm -hmm. Don't hold back. Don't wait. Biggest thing of all is don't be afraid. Because mm -hmm. I was afraid for a long time. Afraid it wouldn't be good enough. Afraid nobody would want it. You know, all these stupid fears. Um, get all that out of your head. Just be done with that. Mm -hmm. And do what you love. Do what you feel like you're called to do. Yeah. Sorry, Heidi. I might yeah, have I, 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 No, your your voice is um and I don't know if y'all want to comment below, um, but your voice is very like um it's very soothing and like almost like a hypnotizing, like like oh. you know, in a good way, not like a hypnotizing <laughs> <laughs> I people would want to just listen to you as your team oh. paint and and what you said about it has to come from your heart. I mean you know, yes, you know, we're trying to build a business and yes, we all want to pay our bills and all of that great stuff. But mm -hmm. when you're consistently doing something and you're doing it for not two months, not eight months, but years, you know, paint yeah. business, I mean, and you want to, you know, teach art or create art, like she said, you know, Michelle hits it right on the head. Like it has to come from your heart because, you know, you know, when you, you have that success and for those of y'all that, that, you know, are making great money at this, you know, that's not going to keep motivating you. Like the reason why we keep getting up is because we have that passion. And like she said, you know, it's, you know, my mind's the same way, like sharing God's love through art. Like, I feel like that's what I was put here to do. You know, yeah. when you yeah. have that like core feeling of what it is, then, you know, you have these, these successes like she's having and it, you know, boost your confidence where your head can't fit in the car. It's like, <laughs> it's like these, these are going to, these are the moments they're going to go, okay, I can do this again. I did it yeah. once I had success. It happened and it doesn't matter. You know, I was talking to, to one of our, um, um, PPHQ sisters the other day. And she was like, I just don't want to do this online. I just want to do it in person. And I'm like, that's fine. Like you that. don't, you don't have to do it online. You do yeah. not have to try to to, to be an online thing. We just, you know, share that so that those of you that can't do an in-person have those options. So it sounds to me like you're one of those that like, you want to be the people person. Yes. <laughs> all, the, all of that stuff. Is that true? Yeah. So I've done um, a couple of online paint parties and they were fun and I had a lot of good positive feedback from them. But it just wasn't the same. <laughs> There's nothing better than being in a room with a mm -hmm. bunch of fun, fun people and just yeah. and having a good time. I do have to. Yeah. yeah, the energy of it is awesome. Yes. And that, I, I thrive on that. So. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Okay. So, Michelle, I know you've had some success with art kits and, and you've been, you know, showing off your Ollie, which is, he's so cute, by the way. <laughs> what is, um, what is maybe, um, one more tip for somebody that's wanting to do art kits? Like maybe it's, um, the way you package or what is something? Cause I know for me, like, I'm not the best at like making a beautiful box or a beautiful package. Yeah. Like, I'm like, here's a craft bag and here's your stuff. Right. <laughs> so that's exactly what I did. Is, so yes. Is, so my art kits are packaged and I wish I had one 
I don't have one close by. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I bet it's just a brown craft bag with handles. Yes. Uh, yeah. So I think my advice would be utilize the sisters that you have at your disposal. So my biggest thing at first was, well, what am I going to paint on this canvas that a kid would want to paint or a young adult or, you know, whoever. Um, my focus when I started these was for kids. So here's my chance to give out a big shout out to one of our very own sisters, Debbie Kastner. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Yes, you are. Okay. She has been very inspiring. Um, she shared, and matter of fact, I believe it was her shared uh, designs that got me started oh. in October for, for the Halloween kits. So use, use your sisters, use, we're here for you all. I mean, we're all in this together, right? So if you're, if you're struggling, if you, you know, we don't all have the money to go and buy everything we need to start even out small. So use the templates. Heidi's done a lot of work for us. <laughs> um don't let that go in vain yeah use them yeah I love that yeah. you know, it's so true like and you know with so many of us all doing the same thing it's like sometimes we can think of it as too overwhelming and let it confuse us mm -hmm. and I did that <laughs> I did like and, and it's so easy to get so wrapped up in it because there's so you give us a lot Oh, no. <laughs> um, you do give us a lot and it's so easy to get no gosh it is so much appreciated okay, good. <laughs> yes. um yeah it's easy to get lost but and so that's what happened to me so I'm like oh I'm just gonna skip from this unit to that stage to over there and I'm still trying to muddle my way and learn where everything is but just enjoy it don't get too overwhelmed by it yes yeah and when you do get overwhelmed remember you can always like you know whatever you're at I always say like treat pphq like a library like don't go grab every book you know you need just grab what you need so if you're yeah. going to do a paint party what's the next step and if you're not sure what the next step is just ask that question. Okay, somebody contacted me. I'm going to do a paint party now. I'm freaking out. What do I do next? And, and we'll jump in along with, like you said, Michelle, you know, use your resources. I mean, this group, this community of genius creativity, like, you know, this collective wisdom of creativity, you know, don't, don't, um, don't miss out on that because, you know, like Debbie Kastner being so sweet to share, you know, her design and then you being able to use it. And, and so, you know, always make sure you have permission. Of course, don't just grab somebody's design. Mine, yes, you can grab mine and it's fine, but always make sure you have permission. But I love that. And that was able to get you going, which yeah. gave you that huge yeah. confidence and now you're moving forward. So, yeah, well, so that, you know, just for me taking that, um, the initiation you know taking the responsibility yeah. and doing it it led to in-home parties it led just this week I signed a corporate event party for 30 people awesome. super excited. it's on zoom so here we go with this technology thing again but it's okay <laughs> I'm pretty sure you have a training out there and I'm going to snag it. <laughs> I do. I do. Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Because you never know where it's going to lead. I always say, you know, so, you never no, know. There's no party too small. You know, I've had a party of four, which led to many events after. So yeah, it can really, really be good. So, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Well, we love you and we're just so happy to see somebody out there, you know, creating and helping their family and being able to do art 
which we all love and actually um, build a business from it. So I'm so proud of you and I'm thank so you. happy for you. So thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and if they want to find out more, Michelle, where can they go to find you? Um, so you can always go to Lot and Bug Designs. I'm on Facebook. Okay. You can also look for Michelle Stone on Facebook, mm -hmm. or you can get me right here in Paint Party Headquarters. Sounds great. Uh, well, yeah. thank you so much for sharing. And everybody uh, and Pink Party Headquarters, let us know what you thought and um, let us know what your biggest takeaway from this is. I know my biggest takeaway is that it's okay to use craft bags for art kits. Yes. <laughs> it's totally fine. You can still sell them and make over 50% profit. And also my other really big takeaway is making sure, like Michelle said, that it's coming from the heart and it's something that is passionate to you. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and we'll talk to you soon, Michelle. Bye guys. Okay. Bye guys.